Erica, this is how many people got information during today's lockdown. They got text messages, emails, and even voice messages as there was a possible threat on campus. But then there was a period of silence, and that's when some people tell us they did not know what to do. Around 1255, cell phones deliver an alert of danger on the IUPUI campus, reiterated by a pre-recorded voice message. I just said there was a man seen with a long gun in that garage right there, and that was pretty much it. There wasn't any mention of a lockdown up until another like half an hour after that or so. Police say a student spotted a man with a long gun or rifle in a trunk. Then, as authorities comb the campus, there's another sighting, this time in the nursing building. Parent Rick Smith says his son was there as police with M16s evacuated everyone. They're totally vulnerable. You know, they're, they're, they're outside. They don't have any protection. You know, they're not, uh, they're not in a secured area. They're wide out in the open. And, and it's just, it doesn't make sense. Are they been allowed back in the building for safety reasons? No, we wanted people to seek shelter. So I'm not sure which buildings you were talking about. But that's exactly what the Dean of Students, Jason Spratt, is recorded telling people held up in the student center. Can I stop you from leaving this building? Right now, no, I cannot. But if you leave, you will not get back in. While people monitored electronic devices waiting for word, there was a gap in alerts from about 201 to 329. That's when some people tell us they decided to leave cover and take their chances. Some people left because they had to pick up their kids from school. Um, others had to leave because they had to go to work. I think it's just nobody really knows what's going on. People kind of want to just go on with their lives. A decision some people made nearly three hours before the official all clear. We talked to some school leaders and they said once they became aware that some people left shelter and were out and about despite the possible danger, they sent out more alerts, including one that came through around 4.07, which was about an hour before the all clear. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6.